smell of dead fish <laughs> would bowl you over. But uh, there's a lovely Weddell seal down on the beach. It's a perfect day here. Absolutely beautiful. Untouched snow over a lot of the island. And uh, beautiful rock formations, lovely basalt rock formations, just like the Giants Causeway we saw from the boat this morning. So uh, really looking forward to this hike around Half Moon Island. Although I'm in good company here, there's a definite sense of isolation in this barrenness. These days, it comes complete with little or no ozone. That's a frightening thought. An hour or so later, we're off on our chariots around the bay. This is just about the most fun you can have with your clothes on, travelling around in these Zodiacs. Ah, the engine's just gone, smashing. <laughs> we're just having a tour around the bay here, looking at these beautiful icebergs. Wow, grande <laughs> bardo, eh? just taking us on a cruise of another bay around the back of Half Moon Island and it looks like we're going to try and make it down through this channel. All around us there's ice flows just drifting in the water. It's really really still. If you're at the front of the ship you can't really hear the engines. All you can hear is the penguins and the waves and the ice just knocking off the hull. This is just idyllic. a sheath bill pecking at my boot. Everybody else here got photographs of it. Felt quite good actually. Bit of contact with the local wildlife. And this is the reason for a trip to the other end of Half Moon Island. Elephant seal and penguin colonies. There are two main species of penguin on the island. The crested macaroni penguins with their orange tufts and then there's the chin strap penguin with its black line along its chin. It's breeding season here, so there's a lot of competition for space and for mates. Then there's the female elephant seals. These girls are certainly no ladies. All they do is just sit around here and sleep and fart. <laughs> you can just hear them all day. And I'm always a schoolboy, so it just makes me giggle. Elephant seals spend most of their lives at sea. They only come ashore at this time of year to mate, give birth and molt. One lucky male controls this harem. Portal Point, the Antarctic continent proper, and there's only one way to celebrate our arrival. Some people just aren't up to this tobogganless freestyle, so I'm forced to strut my stuff. Maybe one day this will become an Olympic sport. I have world champion written all over me. <laughs> We're the first generation of eco-tourists to the Antarctic and it's a measure of our success as a species that we can travel here with all our creature comforts. But in less than 200 years after Darwin penned his origin of the species, this continent is under threat. The temperatures around here have risen five times faster than global temperatures in the past 50 years.
These ice shelves will retreat if temperatures rise at the same rate over the next 50 years. Ours could be one of the last generations to experience the fragile, frozen beauty of Antarctica and its stress-free inhabitants. Welcome to Cooperville. We're going to stay two hours here. Uh, we're going to have a hike to the snowfield. Uh, please, very important, try to clear this spot as soon as possible because this is the Penguin Highway. All right. If you want to stay on the beach, you can go around from there or stay on this side. This is Cooperville Island. These are Gen 2 penguins. Really wish we had smelly vision so you could smell <laughs> what these guys make. These two guys are obviously following a well-worn traditional route. This is the first instance of nakedness in this Antarctic trip. I'm just going to go for a romp here amongst the penguins. I wonder what the penguin brother made of that. We've got to fit into this bay, this is Paradise Bay, and there is ice everywhere. So we're down to a half a knot, and there's a lot of activity going on on the bridge. Everybody seems up the high dough. So uh, we're hoping to be able to land here tonight. Nobody knows whether we will be or not. Paradise by name, paradise by nature. They got it spot on when they named this place. I must have done something right in a former life to deserve this. What a way to start my first year away from home. This is a small part of the Melchior Archipelago. You can hear the ice going off the bottom of the Zodiac just as we go in to land here. We're landing for the afternoon. Just had a beautiful run through a crystal clear bay. Now we're just breaking our way through the ice in to get onto the rocks. This is a glacier on the uh, Milky Ore Archipelago. We're on our fourth day in the Antarctic and this is our afternoon out. We've just had a beautiful zodiac trap in across really calm water and this place is just so quiet would bowl you over actually reflecting back off the snow uh, I'm only keeping my hat on because I don't want my head to get burnt The Antarctic was too good to be true. This is the point where my fortunes take a turn for the worse. The exit to Wheeler's Bay and a re-entry into the Drake Passage. It lives up to its reputation big time. This is my worst nightmare. I had to take to my sick bed. <laughs> Just coming out of the Wheeler's Bay there through the, the strait, uh, loads of bells went off in the bridge and that was because the ship was healing too much from side to side but they seem to have trimmed it okay now and we're going out into the Drake Passage. I'm just hoping that I have my sea legs because there's a gale warning in the passage. We're approaching Cape Horn the tip of South America. Would Shackleton or Scott get out of their sick beds to see this? Goes without asking, really. So the Belfast wimp goes up on deck 
if for no other reason than to sign off on the first leg of his journey around the world. This is the second last day of the voyage and uh, we've just come up through the Drake Passage. The seas calmed down a bit and we're now at Cape Horn. This is the place where hundreds of years ago Magellan rounded to find a new ocean in the Pacific. Uh, quite exciting for me, I have to say. <laughs> and uh, I wish I was in a bit better form to tell you more about it, but it's been a pretty rough night in the Drake Passage. So this is it, Cape Horn, the bottom of the world.